In a way, the restoration of Kabul's Darliman Palace represents not only a step toward healing, but perhaps one toward peace and a real sign of change. The working conditions here aren't ideal. The building has been a long-term wreck. I got a junk boss, huh? The result of war is devastation, which turned Darliman Palace, the best palace in the region, to a ruin. Rising out of a dusty patch of land in western Kabul, this longtime eyesore is being rebuilt, even as the country's future remains uncertain. Among those working to restore the luster, long since vanquished, is 23-year-old engineer Faresh Tanuri. When you look around this room, what do you see? What, what really goes through your mind as all this construction kind of comes together? Hmm. I think about the history. I think about what it used to be in the past and how it will be in the future. Darlaman looked like this when we visited five years ago. The structure was originally built back in the 1920s. It was a constant target during fighting for a generation. But the shell of the building somehow survived. Educated at Smith College in the United States, Nori didn't have to come back here, but she did. If we don't build our country, who's going to do that? And if we don't return to Afghanistan, we don't have the right to complain about the situation. We have to fix it. Nori represents what many hope will be the new Afghanistan, educated and a working woman. In a country where men and women having tea in public is still taboo, Nori pushes for change. But at the same time, delicate on-again, off-again peace negotiations are making headlines, with the Taliban taking a lead role. I definitely have my concerns because if they want to turn Afghanistan to back to where when they were in the in the Afghanistan when they had the power, that's that's definitely a, st a big step back for women. She is right to be worried. Former President Hamid Karzai is working to foster peace talks and to bring the Taliban to the table. What could you tell her about her future? We must also tell her that she should not be worried, that we will stand by her and that we will make sure that Afghanistan, that she envisages the Afghanistan that we will have. For now, it's enough to keep Nuri going. She's proud the work is 100% Afghan. <laughs> but Afghanistan remains dangerous, a war zone and international bids for reconstruction went through the roof. Afghan officials say Russia wanted $71 million to do the job. Great Britain, more than 30 million. The United States wanted $100,000 a month for a project manager, the same job that pays Ahmad Jawid $400 a month. I am proud to work with Oman shoulder to shoulder in Dalaman Palace. Despite all the problems, all the setbacks in Afghanistan, Nuri and others working on Darlaman keep a can-do attitude alive. I think you're, you're not alive if you don't have hope. If there's not hope, there, hope there's no moving forward, there's no feeling happy. So what is being alive without being happy and without moving forward? Sean Caleb, CGTN, Kabul, Afghanistan.